Hello everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy X HD Remaster. Now, one thing that's really important to note is I didn't save, well I did save my game, but I'm not going to be continuing the save game that I last saved because I wasn't happy with the, the weapon that I got dropped from this enemy here. So I do need to do it all again. Don't worry, I can skip out the cutscenes for Animar again. But what I wanted to show you was me killing uh, Geo, whatever his name is, Big Fish again, because I wanted to get a better weapon. Now, I did a quick test to see if it did drop the weapon I'm looking for, or the accessory I'm looking for, the one with Encounter None, and it actually did. Uh, it dropped for uh, Yuna. Uh, it was the ductile rod, I believe, which obviously, I don't know why I'm showing it because I haven't even got it yet, but... So I just wanted to kind of... Um, I've kind of wanted to show you guys that you can get the weapon, it is possible to get a drop, so let's try it again. And as I said, I'll edit out the whole anemia, uh, anemia, anima, me get, um, if I can speak, me cutting out me getting anima, basically, because you guys have seen it already. What's up? Something here? I almost What's got the... eaten by a fiend here. Pat, yes, yes, we know I all this. That's fine, I can skip all this, we've seen it before. Okay, right, here goes. Now, for this time round, I'm taking capture weapons off, because I want to be hitting harder. So we'll go with... Uh, I could go for break damage limit, actually. Magic counter, evade counter, and triple overdrive. Let's try it, because we can't capture him, so... Uh, and I don't think there's much else we can go for Wacker. I could go for the magic one, but it doesn't have any magic yet. So we'll go with the water ball. I believe it should still hurt the enemy, even though he's a fish. And for Riku, we shall have... Let's have a look here. We could go for, like, counter. Do you know what? No. Let's go with... Hmm... Give me a second, guys. Uh, now, all I'm worried about is that he does stun. Is it stun touch? And I believe he can actually... That sounds weird when I say stun you. But he can actually petrify you. So I'm just going to look at... Seeing if I can give Riku, and by the way, when you get petrified underwater, you get, you, your character smashes and you're out of the you're out of the fight for the whole the whole fight basically. So let's go for Riku, which should be at the bottom. Uh, just got three here. Let's see if I can make something out of this. Stone Ward, I don't think will be enough. Death proof though, that's nice. Got it then. Um. And these uh, Tetra Elementals, by the way, we will be farming these at some point because they're really cool. But that's for much later on. Come on, what else is there? Where are you? There must be something else we can do to help. Auto, mm, Auto Phoenix would be lovely. Really, really good. But I don't want to be putting it on some rubbish accessory. Mm. Just bear with me, guys. I just want to... I think I might go with Stone Ward then, not that it'll be offering a full amount of protection. Um, you know what? If I could save state that, I would have done, but never mind. Um, mm, yes, for the for this one here, we'll put on Stone Ward if I can. Yeah. So it's. Uh, Got SOS region, so <clears throat> we'll get we'll get region when we're in yellow HP. We've got an extra five percent HP, and we've got stone ward to help resist against petrification. And of course, we'll just quickly level up since these two levels could be uh, handy for us for this fight. Now, it might have looked like we struggled in the fight, but it is possible. It doesn't have a lot of HP. Let's just quickly go to Riku again. Let's have. Hmm. Hmm. Just, again, bear with me. It's all tactics. It's all tactics. Double AP, though. Whoa, that'd be nice. 
But I'm not going to be getting that. I'm not going to be putting that on that weapon. I'm just uh, looking a minute. Uh, yeah, okay. So I'm going to put... You see, I'm, I would put counter-attack, but she doesn't hit for that much. So... I, but I guess, looking at the rest of it, there's not much else you can put on, so we'll go with counter-attack. Mm. <sighs> I just don't know. <laughs> Let's go with the accessory we just made. This one here. I'll leave it, I guess. Okay. That's uh, where I shall protect. I want something that confu uh, confuses. I want something that defends against petrification, if I can. Mm. Let's go with this. I know it's not the bestest of accessories, but I don't need death ward or death proof against uh, this enemy. Let's go with that, I guess. Uh, yeah, we're good to go. Here goes. Now, if you just aim for the green green dot on the radar, which is obviously the entrance, you'll then automatically go in this fight. Okay, here goes. Drinking some Red Bull because I need the Red Bull. Right, okay. So, let's start off this well. Bomb cars are not that good. They don't hit for too much. Let's go with Dragon Skill a minute. I want to see if I can... Mm, yes, and another thing as well. I don't want to be buffing up my characters in case he eats my characters like he did before. But let's go with Dragon Skill. That's how much damage Dragon Skills can do. Mm, 1,500. Pretty decent. Pretty decent. Let's go with Spiral Cut and let's get some damage on him. Mm, see, I'm tempted to do Cheer. But in order to do cheer, I need haste. As I said, I don't want to haste myself in case he takes haste. Come on. 9,800. So it could have been four nines. Oh, oh yeah, of course. Slice and dice. We know that. Ooh, stone punch. Nice dodge. Oh, nice dodge, Tedus. Now, if I call him Tedus now, don't be confused. <laughs> I'll tell you guys why shortly. Hmm... Mmm, I don't think I'm gonna go for that just yet. And I believe triple foul doesn't work. I'm just gonna go with attack for now. You know what? Screw it. Here's the girl, let's do it. Now I know he'll probably eat me now because of that, but... I'm just thinking of getting out these attacks as soon as we can. Mm, I'm just going to go with attack reels, I think. Let's get him dead. It doesn't matter about overkill either. Ooh. Yes, right. That's not bad. That's decent damage, that. Yes, good, good, good. I don't know if quick hit will really help us here. Stun punch. Dodge it. No. Nope. Bye Whacker. And that's another reason why I'm glad I used his overdrive then. Because believe it or not, I think Whacker's actually done the most damage. I'd rather he destroyed Riku. Uh, Riku, rather, not Riku. Um, mainly for the fact of um, that she's the weakest. But never mind. Never mind. She's still decent enough. And we've got him. That's it. Done. Now, fingers crossed, we're going to get the weapon or accessory we've been counting on. If we don't, I'll redo it, because I know the chances are fairly high. At least 50-50. Shimmering Blade. I don't think that will be it. Yes, look at that, guys. Shimmering Blade. You've got Piercing and... Uh, and then you got this one with no encounters. I'll take that, because Auron will most likely, very likely in fact, <clears throat> 
be in my final final group. Although I want to really get everyone up, but that will take a long time. <coughs> excuse me. So, <coughs> excuse me. I'm happy with that. Let us go and get anima. And I will cut this all out. So I'll see you guys at the save point. And welcome back, guys. So, yes, got anima. And of course, we got um, our no encounter weapon, which is nice. I'm just going to head off this way a minute to see what there is down this way. I think. Can we go off and explore again? Oh, not really. I'm not really sure. Uh, uh, yo. I was about to say, oh, no, we can't go any further, but we can. Now, this is right at the beginning of the game, like literally right after the Zanakin bit. Now, coming back here, if you missed it, not that it's worth much and we didn't miss it, there's a treasure chest here, which I know a lot of people miss, but also we can actually unlock or read this. Let's have a read. Something is written here. In the land where bolts, bolts of bolts, that's the word, bolts of light illuminate the blackest night with Maclani behind the f f f fourth pillar you sight. Look not on the left, but on the right. Weird. Hmm. Well, not being dumb here, guys, but that, we, we kind of we kind of got that, you know. Hmm. Oh well. So, anywho, moving on. Just have a quick explore. There might be nothing here. In fact, I'm fairly certain there isn't. But I kind of like to make sure, just so if we did find anything as well, that we found it on camera at least. Don't think there is anything else here though. We're in the submerged ruins. I can go in the water here, but I don't believe there's anything else to pick up around here either. Although, I know there's something over here, which again, if you missed at the beginning of the game, not that it's probably worth a lot or, you know, game break and it's probably just a few hundred gil or potions, but there is a chest and I believe it's on our left hand side. Just a moment. Yeah, you can see the chest there, look. Just where the radar is. And also, if you did start this game again, you can go to this and learn your owl bed. Yeah, and there's a treasure chest here, just in case people missed it. But, yeah, nothing else to explore here. I just wanted to make sure that there was nothing else added while we've been away, because who knows, you know, how long it's been since we've been here. All I can tell you is it's been hours since we were last here. Through the Let's Play anyway. But anyway, time to move on, and I think next on the agenda is we're going to go to the Sinubia Desert. So, ball their ship. And we have got some Blitzball to play. I know I've only got three videos in my Blitzball playlist at the moment. That's because mainly I have only played three Blitzball matches. I will be recording most of them, if not all of them. So if you guys love Blitzball, by all means, have a check out. Uh, right, Cinebia Sands, or Cinebia Desert. Now, I could use my No Encounter weapon on Auron, and, you know, run around freely, especially to do this quest. I could, but remember, I need to capture enemies anyway. So, it's not the worst, um, worst thing ever. Yeehaw! Here we go! Yeehaw! I'm going to have to stop doing yeehaw, and I'm going to have to start skipping that. Ah, yes, the desert music once again. Hey, treasure chest. Oh, Oscalon, Ascalon even. Now, when I was saying about the double AP earlier on, the reason why I wasn't going to put that on the weapon is because... Oh, yes, double AP. I will take that. Um... That reminds me to put my capture weapons back on. Um, not for you. Not for you. But for you. Oh, he's got his on. And for you. Just to make sure. And for Titus, you can have your... God, he has got some really, really rubbish accessories, hasn't he? Like, seriously. Mm, that's decent. That's decent. That's decent for him. 
don't think he's got anything better, no. And... Wackers is fairly decent. It's just... Titus is. Right, okay. So, we've done that one. Let's go back up. I'll have a drink of my Red Bull. The final showdown was... Okay, so... Now where to? So we've been to the Sanubia Desert, but I actually want to go back to... Bikinel Island. Here we go. Which is obviously home. Now, I don't even remember what I'm supposed to do here, so I'm just going to kind of wing it, you know me? So, yes, we're back here. So... Let's just make our way around. I I'm pretty sure I remember-ish what we have to do. Hmm, we can go this way. Oh, that's the way we need to go, so that's fine. I thought there was two ways for a second there. Okay, I don't think there's anything else to pick up. Now, don't quote me here. <clears throat> I could be wrong. But I believe if you've missed any Albert Primers, that you can pick them up here again. Now, if I start getting fed up of getting these no encounters, I will just put on the no encounter weapon. Now, I have a rather cool leveling trick later on that I would like to share. I wouldn't say it's a massive trick. I just want to have a read of the first goal. I think it's initiative. Yeah, initiative. Which is obviously the type of weapons you're going to get from Catchers because they've got super high agility, super high evasion, and they they normally get the uh, and they've they've kind of got initiative if if that makes sense. Like they they normally have the first strike. Hey, again. Now most of the time, Oron and Titus will probably end up missing, but Wacker will always get it because he's generally quite good with his accuracy. And I actually don't know how much accuracy. Um, he has. Let's just have a look here. So we've got Oron with LOL, oh my god, OMG, Mega OM, FG, 7, wow. You've got Tidus with 29, then you have Wacker with 50, so quite noticeably, he has a lot. And remember, I can't, I can't, I can't, let me talk English there. I can actually move him somewhere else if I want. Uh, do I have a little for free key? Might use that level 3 key to open up that and take him into, I believe that's Auron's grid. Hmm, threaten, arm break, yeah I might do that, just to keep him moving. Level 3, boom. And he's going to get some nice strength here, and he's going to gain a new ability here. His ability is mental break. Strength 4, which is very nice for Wacker. HP, again, nice for Wacker. And. So I have plenty of return and friend spheres. And I have, of course, the skill spheres and the special spheres and black mage spheres. I could use them, I'm not really that fussed as of just yet. Uh, although. It'd be nice if he learnt some magic of some sort, but I hate the idea that he can only, he'll can he only know one type of spell, if that makes sense, so he'll only, say, have a thunder spell, you know, I don't like that, so I'd rather he had something neutral, like, for example, Demi, but Demi doesn't always work on enemies, so, uh, let's move you there, and Auron, is that magic defense? Yeah, magic defense. Okay. Gonna rest quickly there. Now I'm hoping that if there is any Albert Primers, I can pick them up because it would be nice to get the collection. Got a lot of HP when you think about the section of the game when we're here, how much HP this actually has. There we go, Zoo captured. Albert Potions. We'll top them up. I do use them quite a lot, although admittedly I won't be using them for a great deal longer. 
once we start breaking our HP of 9999 and breaking our damage limit of 9999. There we go, three, two types of enemies there to capture. Shoot you down. Shoot you down. See, Auron actually needs quite a lot of accuracy. Uh, ugh, Auron, cringe. Ugh. There we go, whack it. Thank you. Alkyon, I think they're called. Ah, the potions, nice. Okay, so uh, I can go. Let's just go left a minute in case I missed anything. No, nope, I didn't. That's fine. I'm going to shut up talking. I'm gonna head up this way. I'm hoping there's at least one of the primer I didn't pick up here. It'd be nice to fill up that, that letter T. See, really? Oh, Whacker, the one with the best accuracy as well. Oh, come on. Uh, cringe. Ah, oh, we got it in the end. I was about to take out Auron and bring in Riku as someone. Told you. So you can read these signs now and read what they actually say, which I can't actually head to that one, but. Now, what I'm actually heading to, if you guys remember, the Catua. Oh, speaking of which. Boom. Now, if you think about when you do another kill here, look at the AP you get. I mean, it's, a, it's a good AP now, so. Vigilante, probably a really rubbish weapon. Yeah, initiative. Look at look at this. So we're getting we're getting skill ups here. So again, if you ever wanted to come back to level up, come here. Anyway, as I was saying, losing track of thought, I'm kind of waffling on a bit. So we're actually heading to the desert with the section where there was a storm going through the uh, and there was a, I think there was a capture statue. I can't remember now, but one. Two, three. So I think capturing ten of every enemy here wouldn't take that long. What kind of is annoying is that I'm going to be. Wait a minute, is that something on the floor there? Oh, Tommy, it's another primer. Tommy, it's another primer. Uh, you take him down. You take him down. Oh, oh yes, we'll give him use. Oh no, I, I want to capture him, don't I? Oh yeah. <coughs> hey, Auron, your very rare seven accuracy actually hit. Hawkeye. Hmm. So many cool names for weapons in this game. Let's have a look at Hawkeye. Sensor. Boring. Yeah, that's an Albert Primer, that. Albert Primer 28. No. 18. Can't read. Alright, so we, le we learned the letter R. That's decent enough. I'll be honest, I have no idea that was even there. But, like I said, I think they're pretty much scattered about for the ones that you missed. <clears throat> One of them that I'm not sure about is actually outside of home, where I think... Uh, I think Riku's uh, not brother but friend or whatever dies and I think you can search him for potion out that section there there is an Albert Primer and I don't know if it's true or not but I, I thought I read that somewhere that if you don't pick up the Albert Primer there you can't pick up ever again so I could be wrong so that's why I made sure that I said right pick it up Nice. Now, do you see the enemy in the distance there? That enemy in the distance there, do not talk to him just yet. He will... <laughs> he will summon Dark Ifrit. So, we don't want to be doing that just yet. <clears throat> Kill these. We don't capture these anyway. 
Though it'd be pretty cool to see what creation they can come up with. Now, let's have a look at this statue here. Song of the Gatekeeper. Ten little gatekeepers play in the sand. Tomei's gone, gone to fetch the water. Be back soon. Using spheres to control the sands, the catchers defend their village. They are they are the gatekeepers. Present all ten of the spheres they bear to the stone altar, and the way to the village will open. Ah, yes, I remember this now. Yeah. I think I've ever read that. It's all the same, yep. Yeah. So I need to go and find Tome or, or Tame or however you want to call it. Now, be honest, I don't remember where he is. He, she, whatever. Let's take you down. So this is a section definitely where no encounters will come in handy. Hence the reason why I, no I brought no, ca uh, no encounters with us. No captures. No encounters with us. So by all means, for this section, I'm very tempted actually. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. I will use my Shimmering Blade. So now we should be able to run around freely and look for these catchers. Now we'll read these as well. Something's written here. Danger, strong fiend in the vicinity. The writing is below is faded. 20% off all travel agency goods. It looks like an old advertisement. Hmm. So as I said, don't speak to this dude over here. Ignore him. And of course, if you didn't pick up any treasure, there'd be some treasure that you maybe missed. I think we picked up the majority of it anyway, to be fair. As you can clearly see. Now, there's Dyke. Dyke? <laughs> there's Dark Ifrit. Now, I guess of where... I don't think we can go in yet. The Storm Black Shore Path, that's fine. We knew that anyway. I guess of where the catcher we're looking for is... I want to say he is... I, rem I've, I, have, I have images of where some of them are, which is actually quite annoying. And I have these images just in my head. So look here a minute. And I'm not even kidding, some of them you got to play games with, so <laughs> be prepared for that. So much easier with no encounters, look. I don't think there's anything behind there, I just want to kind of double check now. Make sure there's no Albert Primer hidden behind there, no. Now look, what do we have here? Something is written here, Hasori Idros. Now all these little, they're like the little clues and I believe in the end we le we learn it's a god hand. So that's how we learn god hand, victorious and mass immune. Yeah, I'm not actually sure exactly where this is going to be. At the top of my head, I feel like it's in this corner over here. Again, I could be wrong here. Could be anywhere. It might even be back right at the save point. If that's the case. Doesn't seem to be over there. As I said, I've got all these images in my mind of where, where these catchers are. In fact, no, I've just got another image in my head now. But you see, I've got all these images. I did this about over a year ago. I did it. Because a little fun fact here for you guys, which you might already know, you might already didn't know. So either way, I'll tell you anyway. Uh, ahead of here is a place to rest. Okay. So originally, I did this Let's Play January 2015. We are now in 2016, and I'm recording this again. Ah, yes, I think he's down here. Is it? No, I remember there's an image where we have to come here again, though, later. 
So anyway, so this is the second time we've recorded this full Let's Play, and I recorded Final Fantasy X in 2015 in January, and I actually got to the part, well, pretty much end game, really. So pretty much where we are now. And I'd got most people's ulti uh, ultimate weapons, so celestial weapons and stuff, so I got right to the end. And I think, actually... You see, I'm getting all these images of where they all are. So there's ten capturers, basically, that we need to capture. And they're all scattered about in Bikino Island. Now, if I'm right... All these little <clears throat> corners and stuff are where they all are. Let's see if I can do it. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, yes, now there's number one look. Now, I'm actually going to save my game here and end the video there. So join us in the next video where we're going to actually start this capturing these kind of capturers kind of quests. So, and it's well worth doing and I'll show you guys the reward once we're done. So until the next video, guys, thank you for watching. See you then.